And we're back with the second of two from Eddie Nordlander here on Clutch Drinks Crazy Sodas on YouTube. Hashtag Eddie Drinks Crazy Sodas on YouTube. Let's get that one started or not. Doesn't matter. And today we have one that he was telling me about a long while ago. Uh, way before he planned on sending me some. Or maybe it was part of the plan all along. I don't know. Let's go to the trusty note here. <clears throat> I sent you one folk soda. It is the main subject of the movie The 101-Year-Old Man Who Skipped Out on the Bill and Disappeared. That's the name of the movie. It's Swedish. And this is from IMDb. The 101, the 101-year-old man, Alan Carlson, goes through Europe in search for a Russian soda recipe he lost during the early 70s. Unfortunately, he is not the only one who's looking for it. That's... If that's not the back of the DVD, I don't know what is, because <laughs> it doesn't really tell you anything. Uh, and then the company released a company, I guess, I don't know what company released it, but a company released a soda like the one in the movie. Shisandra is the flavor, in quotation marks, so take that for what it is, of the soda Enjoy. So this is a soda that was produced by, I don't know, let's say Burger Brook. Let's say Burger Brook. Let's say that's who made it. Why not? I don't, I, nothing else on here makes any sense to me. But this is a soda that was made to represent the fictitious soda from Russia in the movie. The movie being from Sweden. And this is similar to Iron Claw, Matt, from uh, building up to it and general realm realminess and the northern warriors and all that he he works on a show called letter kenny and they have a beer on the show called puppers and then a local brewery to him made the beer so it transcends the show and it actually exists in real life that's similar to this it's a soda it's very red it's very russian i don't even know any of the characters on there but it's just called folk soda which is written there and yeah, nothing else. Everything else is in Cyrillic. So this one made it perfectly fine. It's all in there. It's still sealed. I think it's because it has the Jones-like screw cap on top. Although that, that came off really, really easily. I think it's cherry. It's very red. This is a cool, this is a cool bottle. This is one that I'll keep for several reasons. One is because Eddie sent it to me and because it's 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 gimmicky it's it's from a movie that i'll probably never see but it's a russian bottle from a swedish movie and eddie sent it across the world to me and it's 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 neat so um at he said shisandra so i don't i don't is that a word is that a made-up word for the for the movie? I don't know. That's not going to focus. On it. it says Shisandra. It's right there. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's just cherry. I don't know. Ah, it's weird. It's really weird. It's got like a fruit punch kind of flavor to it. Like a like a seven up punch flavor to it. I wanna say it's cherry. It's like a, a cherry seven up but with more something else in there. I don't know that I'd get this again, but I'm really happy that I've tried it and it came to me from across the world, Eddie. Um, I gotta think there's, if there's any way I can send you sodas. It's kind of not easy. <laughs> he had to wait till a relative of his was visiting the U.S. He sent his aunt with two bottles of soda, all packaged up, with my address on on the tube that they went in. And she mailed it from within the U.S. once she got to the U.S. So that's the cheapest postal rates possible for that kind of thing. Um, I'll see what the options are to send it internationally. I just know that liquids are heavy. 
and it's all about weight for for international shipments. So, thank you for the Sandra. Tell me that's not just a regular word, and I'm just really bad at reading. <laughs> anyway, I, I keep looking at it like maybe I'm reading it wrong. Shizendra? I don't know. I, I've officially gone on too long. Thank you, Eddie. We'll see you next time.